I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. I'm here with Camry. Hey guys. And we're gonna show you how to do the rope twist combo today. Now I'm always looking for styles that get my hair off my neck in the summertime because it's so hot. hot. Woo! So this one's fantastic because it not only looks cute, it's great for everyday use and you can do it wet or dry. You're gonna love it. Now if you have not seen our vlogging videos, behind the braids is what we're calling it, you can click this button right here in the corner and last week's video was... My brace is getting on. Yes, amongst other things. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up because those always help and we love them. And then click this red button right here for subscribing. And we will go to the hair. The first thing you want to do when you're doing this style is take your comb and just kind of comb the hair back so that it's falling back this way instead of to the sides. Okay, when you get that done, then you're going to pick up a segment of hair and I've left just a little by her ear just for softness. And you're going to do a um, rope braid. So you twist to the one side and then you twist them over each other. So I'm twisting the strands to the right and then twisting them to the left over each other. You're just gonna work your way down the hair strand. Like this. I just go back and tug on those edges a little here and there randomly. This just loosens up the twist and softens it all up so that it looks a lot prettier when it's laying flat against the head. Then I'm gonna have her just hang on to this piece right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, now when you have both of those done, I just go back up. I want them to sit sort of like this softly so you can see I have a little extra. So I sort of go back to this one figure out where I want it to end, and I just stick my fingers in like this, and then I just pull this one through. So that's just gonna kind of help secure the little twists together. You can loosen this up a little so that it still sits softly, and that's just gonna give you a little extra security right through there. Now you wanna just reach your hands back here, gather up the rest of her hair. You can even use an elastic. Some people, if this is easier for you, just take an elastic at this point and put it right here at the base. You don't have to use the elastic if you don't want to. This is just an optional. Reach back, grab all the rest of the hair, divide it into three pieces, and obviously you're gonna add this twisty section into the middle one. And then you just do a really loose, soft three-strand braid for a few stitches like this. And then when we get to about this point, I'm actually gonna switch it up, divide the hair in half, and just do a few stitches of a fishtail, just to add a little bit different texture into the braid too. Again, these are optionals. You could do a fishtail all the way down, you could do a braid all the way down, you can do a little bit of both, whatever your personal preference is at this point. When I get to the end, again, just use an elastic, secure it all together. And then you know me, I love bigger, puffier. So I'm just gonna go back and really fluff the braid so that it's not tight looking at all. I want this to look like a really soft, boho, summertime braid. So we're just gonna stretch that braid all the way down. Okay, let's do the final spin. I love it, it looks so cute. Hey, if you guys haven't seen our Behind the Braid series videos yet, be sure to click this button right here so you can check them out. And be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.